In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Python and PyScripter, which is a program that will help us create and run Python programs. So the first thing we're going to do is open up a browser. <clears throat> we're going to search for uh, Python download. That'll work. First link should be what you want. There's a big yellow button right on the home page. Python download. This should give you what you need. So I'm going to click on that. All right, it downloaded. If I click on this little up arrow, I can show in folder. Now I need to run this file to actually do the install. So I double click on it. Okay, there's lots of options here and they are important. So the first thing you need to do is make sure both these boxes at the bottom are checked. So now they're both checked. Now the installation. If yours is installing under program files, you're probably okay. If it's under app data, that's not as good. So we don't want to install under app data. So I'm going to click on customize installation. Okay. Everything on this page is fine. I'm just going to go next. All right. Here's what's really important. Install for all users. I'm going to select that box. You'll notice that this changed down here, right? If I unclick it, I've got app data right there. Don't want app data. Click the box. I've got program files. All right. So that's what I want right there. I'm going to finish up by clicking install. All right. Say yes after that. All right, I sped up the portion of the video where all it was doing was installing. It took about a minute or two on my computer. So if it takes about that long for you, that's, that's normal. That's expected. I can close this now. It says it was successful. All right. I don't need this file anymore. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Um, you can leave it there or delete it as you like. Uh, and close this folder right here. All right. Now I want PyScriptor installed. So I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to type in PyScriptor. Um, everything Python related, when I say Py, I mean Py. I don't mean like Pi, like the number in math. So PyScriptor, uh, I'm going to go. I actually want the 32-bit one. I installed 32-bit Python, so I need to have the 32-bit PyScriptor. So I'm going to click on this one. All right, let's go to the first link here. This should be what we need. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of options. Um, and we actually don't want... Uh, this version right here. So we have to be a little bit careful with that. I'm going to click on this first folder right here, version 3.6. Okay, we go into that folder. We see that some of these files uh, have x86 and some have x64. 64 is the 64 bit. 86 is not 86 bit. It's in fact 32 bit. I'm not going to get into why that is right now. Um, I'm going to download the one that ends with exe, not zip. Just get exe here. So I'm going to click on this one. Once my download is finished, I'm going to open it up. Again, I'm going to double click on this executable file. This is going to install PyScriptor for me. I say yes. Uh, I would like it installed in English, so I press OK. Uh, this is telling me about what version I have. That's the version I want, 32-bit right there. So I'll say Next. This is a fine place to install it in Program Files. I'll say Next. Uh, start menu, it'll be called Program, it'll be called PyScriptor. That's fine, so I'll say Next. Um, I don't need a desktop shortcut or a quick launch shortcut, but if you want those, you can click those boxes. It doesn't make much difference, so I'll say Next and install. That I did not speed up. That is exactly how fast it goes. This should be a real quick one. So I'll say next. And I'm going to just let it launch when I finish it. Um, it doesn't make a huge difference, but I'll, I'll say finish right there. All right. And it pops up with PyScriptor for me. Um, here's the icon down here in the bottom. I'm going to right click and pin that to taskbar. I like having that on my taskbar because I use it so frequently. 
The next thing I want to do is I want to create a test program just to make sure everything's working. I can do that either by click clicking on this blank page icon right here, or I can just press Control N. Oh, apparently I have to be in the window and then I can press Control N. There we go. Now, uh, it will give me some text uh, to start with, some default text. I don't actually want this. I don't want to deal with this. We don't need it. So I'm going to delete it all. I can either drag with my mouse and select it and then delete it. Or if you want to be a pro, you can press Control A. So hold Control and then tap A. And it'll select everything and then delete. OK, so now uh, up here, I'm going to write a very short Python program. I'm going to type in print, open parentheses, uh, quotation marks, hello world. Uh, and now I'm going to run this program. Um, it's pretty straightforward. All I need to do is click on this green button right here. Although I'd like folks to start getting into the habit of using shortcuts. The shortcut to run it is Alt R R. Uh, you don't need to hold Alt, you just need to tap it. So see what happens when I do that? I type, I tap Alt R R and it will run it for me. And down here below, it prints out what I wanted to print out, hello world. Everything seems to be working fine. So I've successfully installed Python and PyScriptor, and I've run my first Python program.